Welcome to this YouTube video on customizing lists in Swift UI. As many of you know, lists are an essential part of building an iOS app. In this video, we'll explore how to take your lists to the next level by customizing them with a unique style. In a Swift UI list, you can control whether the list row separators are displayed. When you use the dot list row separator modifier and set it to dot hidden, it will hide both the top and bottom separators of that row. If you want to hide a specific side, you can set the edges parameter to either top or bottom. You can also customize the separator tint color by using the modifier dot list row separator tint and passing in a color. If you want to target a specific edge, you can use the edges parameter and set it to either top or bottom. If you need to make fine tune adjustments to the edge insets, you can use the modifier dot list row insets. Then you can pass in an edge inset where you can modify the top, leading, bottom, or trailing edges. When you want to change the list row background color, you can use the modifier dot list row background and pass in a color. If you want your list rows to have alternating colors, you can do the following steps. First, add a ternary operator inside of the list row background modifier. This operator will conditionally set the background color of the list row based on the index of the row. As we loop through the items, we use the modulus operator to get the remainder by dividing the index by two. If the remainder is zero, it means the index is even, and we can set the background color to white. If the remainder is one, it means the index is odd, and we can set the background color for that row to gray. When you have a list item that has a system icon and you want to apply a tint color to the icons, you can use the dot list item tint modifier. Here are the three options. Number one, dot monochrome gives you the standard gray tint effect. Number two, dot fixed, which gives you a tint color that cannot be overridden by the system. And number three, dot preferred which gives it a tint color that can be overridden by the system. We can apply badges to our list items by using the dot badge modifier. In order to use the dot badge modifier, we must use a text view to display them. If you need to control the appearance of section separators, you can use the dot list section separator modifier and add dot hidden. For further control, you can add the edges parameter where you can hide the top or bottom separator. Finally, if you need your list to have a custom background color, you can use the dot scroll content background modifier. Let's see how this works if we want to make our background a custom gray color. Let's start with a list and adjust the edge insets first. Next, we will add a list row background modifier and set it to color dot base gray. Then we'll add a background modifier on the list and set it to color dot base gray. Finally, we can set the scroll content background modifier to dot hidden. And that's it for our tutorial on customizing lists in Swift UI. We hope you found this video helpful in taking your iOS app development to the next level. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and tricks. And leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.